Hey everyone, welcome to a classic VidCon hotel room collab. This is Ariel. Hello. Ariel, tell people what you do on YouTube. Oh gosh, I talk about books on the internet. Thank so, you. So, <laughs> we're going to talk about books in this video. Yes. Uh, we're going to do... with a design twist. Yes, exactly. So Ariel is going to show me some book covers, mm -hmm. and I'm going to judge those books by those their covers and try and guess what they're about. And it'll be interesting to see if the design of those covers, you know, relates well enough to yeah. the content inside that someone who has no prior knowledge can guess what they're about. So I found some covers that hopefully you've never seen. Yep. And books crossed. you've never heard of, <laughs> so you don't have any inkling of what they may be. Let's go. Let's go. Fallout by Todd Strasser. Right. I'm going to guess that this is like a young adult fiction. It is young adult fiction. Yes. I feel like the main character is a dude. Yes. Oh, whoa. Okay, nice. <laughs> I mean, Fallout and they're going underground. So does like some sort of nuclear thing happen? Or is it like a metaphor for like some big disaster? There's a situation that goes down and they have to like live in a basement for wow. a really long time. Okay. I am a little surprised with that. I thought it would be like more of a metaphorical thing. Okay. Like it wouldn't you know. Designer went very literal. Yeah, but it's cool. This, I like this cover. It looks like they've actually created a little scene and like yeah, this is a Yeah, I think it's like it. a model. Yeah. Yeah. I like it a lot. I think you did good. I, I'll give, we'll give you that point. Okay. Tick. One out of four so far. <laughs> the Miseducation of Cameron Post by Emily M. Danforth. Ooh. Okay. Can you guess the genre again? No. Uh-oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> Got some blank stares going on over here. I don't think this one is young adult. It is. It is? It is okay. very young adult. Okay, so this one is about, if it's a young adult book, then it feels like someone who is like a lost soul, they're like alone or something. Uh -huh. Like this is like picture of a girl in a field. Is Cameron a girl or a boy? Does yeah, it... that doesn't give much away. Yeah. Okay, you guess. I'm gonna guess it's a girl. Yeah, it's a girl. Yeah. But I mean, you know, I have no idea what the heck. Does this person like move to the countryside or something? <laughs> Okay, so basically, you write that it is a girl, okay, and that she's very isolated and okay, alone, yeah, um, and that she lives in the country. Huh. But uh, the story is about a girl who is um, a lesbian, okay, in a really rural community, and right. eventually her family sends her to like um, a conversion camp. I so know. it's like it's very scary. Yeah. I wouldn't have guessed that, but it makes total sense. So knowing that, do you think yeah. it's a good cover? Yes, I think that makes perfect sense. I think the story. isolation and the ruralness, yeah, because it's like a huge field, works yeah. really well. Yeah, I love this cover. Should <laughs> we give you that point? I don't think we can give me that half okay. a point, maybe half a point, one point yeah. five. <laughs> Next is okay. Landline by Rainbow Rowell. Hmm. I don't think this is young adult again. It's not. Okay. Yes. This one is adult. This one is about someone who. Is it following someone in their like working life? No. Okay. Well, it it sort of is. Okay. It, the the main character is too obsessed with their job. Okay. And is kind of ignoring their family, so that's kind of a catalyst. Yeah. For the. I, so I don't know how you got that <laughs> bizarre background detail about the character. <laughs> well, I think it's because it's like a phone, and I don't know yeah. the connection that like I don't know if it's a a phone in an adult book, then it's gonna be there to do with maybe? work. Okay. Yeah. I think the main character in this is female? Yes. Okay. And I think that because of, like, I don't know, the script and the color palette maybe? I don't I know. I think the font. Yeah. 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 What's the difference between script and font? Script is like a font that is like connected like this. You know, like you're writing in cursive. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I just learned something new. <laughs> <laughs> we teach design on this channel. <laughs> but yeah, I have no idea what happens to this female character. Okay. Would you like that. to read the tagline? Okay. It's I don't have my glasses blurry. on. Oh. It says, <laughs> if you got a second chance at love, would you make the same call? I wouldn't have picked this to be romance. Okay. No, I would not have picked this cover to be romance, but I mean, that's cool because it means that they're not going for the cliche, right? <laughs> <laughs> it, this is a book about, um, like I said, a woman who has gotten too caught up at work, yeah. is completely ignoring her family, and her husband leaves. He doesn't like leave permanently, but he's like, I'm going to go for a while. Okay. And so she picks up the phone to call him, and she calls him 30 years ago. Or Whoa! 20 years ago. And so she starts having these conversations with her husband right when they met. Okay. It's a very good book. I want to read this book now. Yeah, Thank it's you. really cool. Yeah. What do you think of the design now that you know that? I, I quite like it. Yeah. I, I don't think that it really captures that whole sense Romance of the past. Part? Oh. 
as well. Yeah, I, you're right. Because it yeah. doesn't really bring in that magical yeah, part. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't have gotten that at all. But I guess the fact that it's this like rotary phone should show that it's like going uh, into, the, into the past, ish. right? Yeah. Depends, yeah. Okay. I'm um, going to give you that point because you got a lot of interesting details from, from this yeah, very plain so cover. So 2.5 okay. out of four. All right, our final cover. Your Welcome Universe by Whitney Gardner. This is young adult. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything to do with spray paint, right? Yeah. yeah. The main character is female again. Yes. And maybe she's like a rebel in school and is like struggling to stay on the right path. <gasps> okay. Yeah. <laughs> and if, yeah. maybe maybe then there's someone who helps get her on the on right, the right track. track. Okay. Know. So there is a, the main character is female. Yeah. And she's actually been kicked out of her previous school. Okay. Because she was doing graffiti right um and she's been sent to this new school so she is you're you are yeah. right she's on the wrong track um the, the main kind of problem catalyst in the book is that she was at an all deaf school but now that oh. she's been kicked out of that school she's had to go to a public school right where there isn't as much support for her as a deaf person i wouldn't have gotten that from the cover at all no but i mean i don't know what they could have included to get that across yeah but yeah that's interesting yeah but isn't it amazing how little details like you can pick up from the book design yeah right? like about the story even if you're not getting the whole thing i think that's pretty cool so would you say this is a successful cover knowing I, that plot. i think it's a nice cover but i don't know if it really gets across that you know disability struggle yeah that, that really is, is a core, fascinating part core, of the story yeah it's core yeah. of the plot yeah so i think i don't know how that could be worked in but i think that it would be better if it did um i'm gonna give you the point okay i'm generous 3.5 out of 4 yes. good work <laughs> well i hope you enjoyed seeing that seeing me judge books by their covers that's actually how i pick out books well it used yeah. to be when i went to libraries anyway now i just get them on my kindle so i don't really Ooh. see the cover yeah. Aren't they black and white on the Kindle? Yeah. You see, I'm, well, un I'm uncomfortable with Yeah, that. we know Ariel's thoughts <laughs> on Kindles. No. <laughs> we're filming a video over on Ariel's channel as well, where we're going to be comparing UK and US book covers, because they sometimes make different ones for the different markets, right? And I don't get why. Yeah. <laughs> and but, there's usually a clear winner. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to talk about them over there, so head on over to see us talk more about book covers and design. Thank thanks you for being on my channel. Yeah, thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you subscribe to her as well, because she's awesome. We've been friends for a while, but we only just got to clap, which is yeah. really cool. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.